My name is Bas Reimakers. I'm from uh, Standby, a company that does social research for service design and innovation. So the two sides that we've been talking about quite a lot already. I wanted to start with a little um, image I have for uh, John and Nabil. Um, an image that I suddenly jumped to mind um, when you talked about eating animals. You talked about strange shop signs. In the 1980s in Amsterdam, there were kind of a new type of butcher was coming up, and they all painted on their window, animal-friendly butcher. <laughs> that, lasted, <laughs> that lasted for a little while. What they meant was that they had got, got their meat from cows nearby, and the, the cows were kind of stroken nicely <laughs> before they were killed. <laughs> But the marketing trick didn't last very long because people were a bit puzzled uh, about it, really. Okay, um, what I wanted to talk about in my two minutes is, is aren't we asking actually sometimes too much from the project owners, from the clients that we work with? Because I think on the one hand, we ask them to really give us space to do very new things and to really hold back. On the other, one, on the other side, we ask them to be involved and to really engage with um, the kind of new ways that we're introducing. And we found in several projects that actually this is a very difficult thing for clients to do, to hold back and to engage at the same time. So for instance, in one project um, where we worked with a water utility company here in England, um, the clients really wanted to look at segmentation of their customers. Um, we said you have to create personas. So they were thinking in kind of numbers and postcodes and um, social economic characteristics of people. And we were thinking more in stories. That was really difficult for them um, to make that change. When we came up with kind of stories about how people use water and attitudes of people towards water, because that's what we ended up with in the end, they asked, in which postcode do these people live with this attitude? Because they wanted to send their the leaflets to just that postcode. <laughs> and another project um, we did with a um, primary care um, organization in the south of the Netherlands near Eindhoven, we had to make the shift from technology push to people pull. Eindhoven is the most kind of wired area in the Netherlands, and they really built this great glass fiber network, um, but had no idea how to use it. And we came up with suggestions for services for people, uh, older people, to live longer in their own homes. This worked really well, actually, because this client, uh, turned out, had the empathy to really engage with people. And we taught them to interview uh, their customers and really engage with them. So just my final question is, actually, the question, is it hold back and engage at the same time? Perhaps we should change that into us as designers and researchers, we should look at what are actually the strengths of our clients that we can use in the projects that we do, and leverage them to um, actually be part of those new ways, such as being very empathetic with the people you already work with. <laughs>